everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really means so much to me. In today's video, I'll be unboxing some of the KDP books that I ordered that I created on my own. I have about four here. They are uh, a notebook, a YouTube planner, an accountability checklist, and then my own personal book, which is medium to high content, but the rest are low, no content books. So let's get started. I am so excited. These are, these all came out so good. So this is the first book. This is my personal book. It's called It's All in Your Head. Um, and I have my name right on the cover. And I brought these little clouds and a thought bubble. On the back, I have a little description of like what the book is actually about, which it's about my journey to being diagnosed with celiac disease. And it's just so cute. Like I absolutely love the cover. Um, the all the font and everything inside looks really easy to read and I love the matte feel of the cover. This is a 5x8 so it's relatively small. It's not very big. Um, you can see my title page here but I absolutely love it. I think this came out super super good and I am just so excited so um, very very happy. This is the first personal book that I published so very excited, not sure if I'm going to write another one. They do take a lot of time, um, but I'm very, very happy with this one. So next, we have one of my very first books that I made, a low no, no content book. It is an accountability checklist, and I made this book because I wanted one for myself, and I couldn't really find one that I liked, so that's why I created it. I have little pineapples down here. Um, all of these covers have been made in Canva, in case you're wondering. I absolutely love Canva, so I highly, highly recommend getting Canva. This is a 6x9, I believe. You see I have little pages in here. It has the week of, and then some notes, and um, I can, like, check off things as I'm doing it. So it kind of helps me stay on track. I've been a slacking a bit lately with not using it, but super helpful, and I love it. I, again, these are all matte covers that I ordered today. And I love the feel. They're very sturdy. Um, I definitely would probably change this design up a bit. Again, it's one of the first ones I made. So I'd probably change the font. Maybe I'm not in love with how the title and everything looks. But that's okay. When you're learning, you're learning. And your styles can change. So moving on to one of my absolute favorite ones. Oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. Look at this. It's hedgehogs and hearts. It's adorable. So, funny story, I actually made this for one of my best friends. Um, she loves hedgehogs, and I really wanted to make a cute cover for her to have a composition notebook. And I love how it came out. I didn't think it was very good when I saw that design online. But since this book came in, I've absolutely loved it. It's 200 pages, wide ruled, 7.5 by 9.25 inches. Just open up the middle here so you can see all the pages. It's just, it's adorable. It is so cute. I have hearts like all over the back of it. I love how sturdy it is. The quality is amazing. I am very, very impressed. I am, I am so happy. I absolutely love this. I honestly would probably keep one for myself if I was super obsessed with hedgehogs. I think they're cute, but I'm not like obsessed with them. I am obsessed with horses. However, fun fact. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. So I'm going to give this to her for her birthday and she already knows that. So it's not a spoiler, she already knows. <laughs> in the last book, I'm going to be, oh boy, dropping the books here. It's okay. So I almost just dropped it and I held onto it by its cover and it was fine. It didn't rip <laughs> or anything. So I guess it's a good thing that happened to show you guys how sturdy these are. This is an eight and a half by 11. So definitely the biggest one I have here. If I open it up, it has little notes, um, an area to put like the title of your YouTube video, description, social media, a checklist. I actually made this because I was looking at other YouTube planners and none were really speaking out to me and I was checking the reviews and people were complaining that there weren't enough spaces for notes. So that's why I have an extra notes page. So that's another tip for you guys as well. Um, definitely look at other competitors and their reviews and see what you can do to make your book better that people want. I mean, you get people's actual advice for free off of Amazon and stuff like that. Just look at their reviews. So this is super cute. I love it. it has a little title page. Um, the cover is really simple, but I think it's fancy enough that, I don't know, it makes me really happy. 
and I love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors, specifically royal blue. This is sort of like a, a darker blue and it's just really, really helpful. So if you're thinking about creating your own YouTube channel, I highly recommend getting a YouTube planner. These came out, or this book came out so good. I think they all did. So I hope you really enjoyed my unboxing video. I think Amazon has done incredibly well with the quality of their books and I am very happy. It's always good to order some of your own books, I personally believe, because then you get to see what your consumers or your buyers are actually getting and you can figure out what you want to change. Like there was some margin stuff I might want to change on the inside or the font on my other cover that I think would look better doing something else. Personally, I love this YouTube planner. I would maybe make my notes page with bleed, possibly. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with it. And I love the composition notebook. I just love them all. They're so, so good. And the quality is amazing. I have yet to see a glassy, or a glossy, not glassy, glossy cover yet. Um, I, do, I do also have some hard covers. I haven't ordered one myself yet, though. Um, but I'm very interested to see the quality of those. So these are all paperback mate covers. They're different sizes and have different interiors and I'm very impressed with them all. So definitely order some of your own books if you're interested in seeing what people are actually buying and it gives you a better idea of what you want to change. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please comment them below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much guys. Have a wonderful day.